what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'll be showing you how to downgrade or switch your CFW firmware to any other CFW of your choice so this can be Rebug or Habib or any other CFW you want to downgrade to okay so let's go ahead and get started hey listen so the first thing you want to do is plug your USB stick into your computer and you want to make sure that your USB stick is format to FAT32. The PS3 will only read FAT32. Once you have your USB inserted into your computer, go ahead and copy over the toggle QA. Once you have that, copy over any CFW you want to downgrade to. So in this case, I'll be downgrading my 4.83 jailbreak to Rebug 4.82.2 Rex. You can downgrade to whatever CFW of your choice. But this is the one that I'm going to use. So just copy it, put it on the USB stick okay so once it's copied over to your USB stick go ahead and right click go down to new then go to folder and you want to create a new folder on your USB stick let's call this folder PS3 just like that drag the update and drop it inside now go inside the PS3 folder right click again go down to new folder and we want to call this one up date just like that drag the update and drag it inside the folder now enter the folder and we are going to rename this file so right click go to rename and we are just going to delete all of this and then we're going to delete all of this so that's how it should look. Make sure that it looks exactly the same way. So once you have all that, let's eject our USB stick and let's head over to the PS3. Hey, listen! So as you guys can see, my PS3 is currently on Ferox 4.83. So let's go ahead and log in. Now let's go all the way over to system settings. Go all the way down to system information. And as you can see, 4.83. So currently I am running 4.83 Ferox custom firmware. So let's go ahead and downgrade or switch over to any other firmware of our choice so go back over and make sure that you plug the USB in the PS3 in the right PS3 port so go to package manager install standard and you want to go ahead and install toggle QA boom okay once that's done you're gonna have toggle QA right here okay let me just clarify something you might see that I have rebug toolbox right here but I'm gonna enter it and you're gonna see that I got greeted with some messages saying that I am not currently running the compatible um, configuration that's because I am not on a rebug custom firmware so let's go ahead and just enter it just to clarify some stuff And as you can see, I got greeted with the message, your system is not running on compatible rebug configuration. This is because I am not running a rebug um, custom firmware. So if I press OK, I will get greeted with another message. And as you can see, your system is not running on the compatible rebug Cobra configurations. And they're saying that some of the, fe the features will, be, will not be available, right? So press OK. And as you can see, the function is not available and not available. 
as I said, this is because I am not running a rebug custom firmware at the moment. So let's exit this. Okay, so as we did before, we installed the toggle QA. So let's go ahead and run the toggle QA. Your PS3 should beep, I think, two times and then reboot. If it doesn't beep, you need to restart the PS3 and try again. Once it's beeped two times, then you're good to go. So let's go ahead and press X. Okay, so the PS3 has just rebooted on its own. Now, the only way you can check to know if the toggle QA worked, you have to go all the way over, go down to network settings, and right here, you want to enter a button configuration. I'll leave it in the description as well. You want to hold down R1, R2, L1, L2, and then you want to press and hold L3. Then you want to press down on the D-pad. Okay, so if you get these options, then that means the toggle QA worked. Okay, so what we can do from right here is go ahead and go all the way back up and let's go to system update go down to VS storage media press X and as you can see that's the custom firmware that I want to downgrade to so I'm just gonna go ahead and press X as I said you can downgrade to whatever custom firmware you want okay so as you can see we are now at the second installation menu so just give it time and let it install again okay and as you can see the PS3 has just restarted and you saw the rebug logo just a second ago my capture card wasn't fast enough to capture it but as you can see we are now on um, rebug custom firmware and here is the here's my free shop it it wasn't showing up before right because it was a, it wasn't on the compatible firmware but as you can see as soon as I downgrade to rebug it showed up because I had it installed before I switch over to Ferox just to make this video but let's go ahead and enter the rebug toolbox and you're gonna see that I didn't get greeted with any of those messages and as you can see no messages and here we are we got all the options right here everything looking nice and if we go to system information you can see that the PS3 system firmware is 4.82 so let's exit this okay so let's go all the way over system settings all the way down system information and as you can see 4.82 again so that's it guys that's how you downgrade or switch over to any other custom firmware differently from 4.83 let me say it again that's how you switch from 4.83 CFW down to any other CFW of your choice okay so the links will be in the description guys if you want rebug the link will also be there if you need any other CFW you can just google it okay so if this video was helpful, please leave a like, share the video, and also you can subscribe for more video to come. So, thanks for watching guys, I will see you in my next video.